My pride of the Yankees. Okay, I'm between two guys right now. Jim, I'm going to do it. Do it. I'm going to do it. I've been asking for this a lot. And if he doesn't have his performance, we are sad sacks of lard right now. Okay. My pride of the Yankees is Luis Sessa. Oh, wow. I didn't see that coming, man. I did not see that coming, James, man. Luis Sessa goes 3.1, one hits, no walks, no earned runs. He was in control. We've been asking for long reliever Luis Sessa all year. He kept having these like weird one inning 11 pitch appearances and it's like isn't this our he's been our long guy for 3 years um man this is kind of a hindsight relive in the series obviously they dominate the first game the second game ends up closer than you remember it man if louis sessa doesn't have his performance what are we saying if if louis pers- if louis sessa has a 2.2 one earned run what are we saying today? I, I think there's a lot of dead duck stuff. So, uh, Rui, our guy, um, you know, handsome as hell. Like, it, every time we talk about good-looking Yankees, like, we need to jump to Sessa quicker. And here he is, Jim. <laughs> Still doing it for the Yankees. His ERA has now gone down uh, the past three seasons. He's had a three-flat ERA right now in 36 innings pitched. I don't know, man. Good for you, Louie. There was a time many moons ago with talking Yanks. uh, You were, you know, it was you, the Twinkies, and the Cockroaches surviving. But, man, a hell of a performance. Love you, Louie. All right, I didn't think he was going to get a pride, but I'm uh, he deserved it. It's, it's uh it's deserved. Helped us out there. And yeah, I mean, we're, the fact that we're like he went 3 innings, like I don't know how we got there. Like he's a lo- he should be a long man all the time. He has been. That's the weird part. Um but this but the but this season, yeah. Yeah, he uh Man, I mean, that's his longest outing of the year. He's had it looks like he's had seven two-inning performances um, and then, like, 19 less than that, and he used to be <laughs> the long man. So, um, man, and if he doesn't have that, we're we're having a straight-up bad time right now. That, uh, that um, slider, I mean, when did he make the change and just – just say, oh, I'm a slider guy now. Because his slider, he throws it like 50% of the time. Yeah. Just pump it. it. Just He threw some change-ups. I wonder if that's because he threw uh, more innings and he thought he needed to throw more. I'm, poking, I'm looking at his pitch chart now. So in 2017, he threw the slider 30% of the time. In 2018, the slider bumped up 42. Fastball was 41. I mean, at this point in 2021, his slider is 60% of the time. My, I'm sorry. I said 50. Slider 60% of the time. The next most used pitch is 20% of the time. That's kind of unreal. Pump it, Rue. 32% whiff rate on the slider. 24% put away rate on the slider. I mean, really good numbers. Yeah, he's eight, so. 87th percentile and hard hit percentage. They're they're really not barreling him up this year. So, man, I mean, what a uh, what a change. I believe this is his first pride ever in the history of the show it looks or like this it. season. I think ever in the his history of talking MFers, Yanks. I think this was his first oh my pride. Holy shit! If I'm reading these That's, charts, we've got right. I mean, he's been on the team for every episode of Talking Yanks. What episode number are we at? 625. Holy smokes. That's his first pride? It seems that way. Kike, man. Wow. I'm I'm happy for him. Huge. Huge. 